so this question is a good question and let's try to solve it okay so suppose a is the set of even positive integers that are less than or equal to 20 right and b is the set of positive integers less than 50 which are divisible by 6 very nice consider the relations uh, relation from a to b right so these all relations are from a to b okay uh, yeah these all relations are from a to b okay r1 r2 and r3 right r1 r2 and r3 all are from a to b very nice okay <clears throat> so all the, these are some very good looking conditions for which the relations are defined and there is some example right so before uh, okay so um, as you can see that this r1 relation is quite huge so let's 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 not go into that so there are some conditions here so let's directly jump into the question or uh, uh, before that let's try to write um, the sets which are a and b right we, those are of great help to us so a is uh, nothing but a set a is the set of even positive integers which are less than or equal to 20 so these are nothing but 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 so this is equal to also right so b is here <coughs> as uh, b a uh, b is a set of positive integer less than 50 which are divisible by 6 so these are clearly uh, 6 12 18 24 right 30 36 42 and you have 48 that's it okay so this this is these are the things which you're having okay let's let's directly dive into the question so 614 is an element of r2 so what are the condition of r2 so the condition of r2 says that the elements that either the ordered pair when summed should be divisible by uh, 10 right and the remainder should be remainder should be 0 okay so okay so let us let us first try to just check that the 6 and 4 is there in a or b or not okay so this a is 6 which is there in a b is 14 right which is not there so this question this option is straight way we can take it as we can uh, cross it and we can move forward r2 is not symmetry okay so r2 is not sim what is the condition of symmet uh, sim what what are the condition uh, for being symmetric right so for being symmetric if a b belongs to some relation r then b a should also be belonging to that relation r right so let's say from <coughs> uh, from the given condition we can uh, we can think that uh, we can say that 248 will be a member of uh, r2 right will be an element of the relation r2 uh, because it's giving us 50 which is divisible by 10 right so <clears throat> to make it symmetric uh, there should be an element 48 2 again in that relation which is not possible as as this is out of the domain of this uh, set a right set a doesn't contain any element element 48 so it's also it this option is actually correct that r2 is not symmetry right r1 is transitive so for this i will ask you to to just uh, think of it right so let us say that uh, that ab belongs to r1 so for transitivity this uh, the, the conditions would be this, this that bc also belongs to r1 implies that ac also belongs to r1 right so so let us let us try to uh, take it a bit more analytically so here what is happening that uh, from the condition of r1 we can say that a is a factor of b right so we can write b as something a x where x is an integer right i'm just showing you because it's quite in, it, this should be done intuitively but it's it i'm showing you right so and and through this we can write that c is equal to something uh, b into y right because b is a factor so 
this again can be written as uh, uh, let's take the value from here a x y so we can say we can here now think that so if x and y are integer then product is also an integer so from here uh, we can we can assume or we can uh, assert that uh, a is also a factor of c uh, which makes our uh, uh, intuition correct so this option is also correct right so this is the thing which you can think of though it it, it's, it this question is not to be done like this this question is quite intuitive right so <clears throat> the next thing is the cardinality of r1 is greater than the cardinality of r2 okay so uh, so it's it's quite uh, it's not a question of uh, saying that uh, yes or no I, I would say that uh, you just go through these sets and make the relation right so and through the uh, again i would say that imagine and uh, we can say that there are a lot of number in this set b which are divisible by this so so this set the, this relation r1 is going to be very large right uh, among all these three uh, relations which are here the, the relation r1 uh, i think or uh, when you will work out you will get that r1 is the biggest right uh, in terms of the number of elements so uh, this option is also correct and this option is what is this this okay this is same so this is also correct okay so yeah now now the real workout arrives to get the cardinality of uh, r1 intersection r2 i would suggest that you make the set r2 right So let us first try to find the set or let's build the relation R2. Okay. So this is this would contain a lot of them. So the first element would be 218, right? You, you just uh, see the sets. Uh, okay. Then another would be 248. The next would be 46, 436, right? then 6 24 then we have 8 12 8 uh, 42 and then we have 10 30 okay then we have uh, 12 18 and then we have 12 48 and then we have uh, 14 6 right this is 14 and this is uh, 1436 and this is here 1624 and we'll get uh, uh, 18 and 12 right and 18 and 42 and then we are having 20 and 30 right so this is the uh, set r uh, this is the relation r2 so let's let's try to uh, uh, for each element of r2 let's try to find or let's try to check that if that element satisfies satisfies the conditions of r1 also right so then then it would be in the set in both of them so let's try to check them right the number of checks would give us the number of elements so, so this is correct because 18 is uh, 2 is a factor of 18 this is also correct this is not correct this is correct this is correct this is not correct this is not correct uh, this is not correct and uh, yeah 10 is a factor of 30 so this is also correct this is not correct this is correct 1248 is correct and here uh, uh, and then nothing is correct right so let's count the number of ticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 Look, so the cardinality of this is 6 okay okay so let's move forward and see now this question is uh, i would say that again you have to write the set r3 and uh, that's quite interesting to see that uh, that in in set r1 you will get something at 248 right but in the in the relation r2 you won't get something with 48 right so your your uh, your i would say your limit there are some limitations to check so that this element check we have to check that this element is available in b or not so if you if you will make this out 
and uh, and do it yourself then i i believe that you can do it very nicely so for this you have to there is no option other than to write r1 which is a very long set right so i think uh, you can do that that so there, so keep in mind that uh, if 248 belongs to uh, r1 so 48 something cannot be from uh, uh, r2 right because because in set a there is nothing there is no element which is which is 40 though you have the limit to check uh, uh, till 20 right and 20 is not there in set b okay so for set b you will have a limitation of 18 right i think you are getting my point but i am saying so you just do and uh, you will get the answer very very easily thank you